Hello, welcome to my video about how to convert your MIDI drums into audio files of individual tracks. So on my previous video I showed you how to output um, Easy Drummer's individual tracks into Cubase and in this video I'm going to show you how to create audio files from this MIDI data that um, is in Cubase. So the first thing we need to do is come up to Studio, Audio Connections and we need to add some outputs. So the outputs I'm going to add today are going to be kick, snare, hi-hat, overheads. So the kick, the snare and the hi-hat are all mono and the overheads are stereo. So it's going to be three mono and one stereo. So studio, all the connections, add bus, th uh, three mono. I'm going to name these output. Output one, two and three, add bus, and we're going to do a stereo one. And we're just going to name this output again, and hopefully it calls it number four. It does indeed. That's us uh, nearly done. We've got to make sure these aren't connected because we're going to be doing our own connections for these. Fantastic. So once we've got to that point, we need to add some audio tracks for this MIDI, MIDI data to be recorded into. So we're going to come here and we are going to create three monos and we're going to create one stereo right now we've done that I'm going to give these a name so that's easier for me to know where things are coming and going fantastic so now we've got to this point here, um, we want to start sending our um, information um, from the MIDI to these audio wave tracks. So I like to do this in uh, the mix window, so that's just F3 on your keyboard. And you can see we have got some routing here. So first of all, I am going to go to our audio tracks and I'm going to change where these are going. They were just on whatever your standard thing is up here. You just come up and change them and that to output four. So we now need to work out which ones of these we need to send to these inputs. So we need to come across, find our kick. We need to send that into output one, that into output two, that into output three and last but not least the overheads into output four. Don't forget to turn these on because I quite often do and I'm like what's going on. So once we have got to this point here we can then come back into this little section. So what we want to do is see if that is all working. So we are going to do enable all of these and we're just going to press play and hopefully we get some information coming into here. Cool. That looks to be working. So when I go back at the moment, I am going to press record and hopefully it's going to record our audio uh, from our MIDI. should be enough so let's take off all this record and monitor business let's mute all of these 
So hopefully when I press play now, this will play the audio and you have success successfully got it all rooted right. Fantastic. So thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you again.